Today we're checking out Urbeck. This is probably going to be a pretty long VOD. I imagine two to three hours, so I'll put up timestamps for the major parts of the gameplay. Uh, this is like a big city builder with retro nostalgia, and there's a lot of interesting puzzle elements, kind of like Dorf Romantic, or even Islanders, if you've played those very like chill and laid back city building games. You can even walk down into the city like this, which I won't do for too long, because it it is enchanting and bizarre. Um, and I will do it on my own. You can change the view, but it has this, like, retro nostalgia vibe to it. It's kind of, um, and I'm gonna steal this from, I believe it was City Planner Plays, who had a, uh, a video that got recommended to me on YouTube. And I think he said it was, like, Minecraft and SimCity, just because of voxels and, um, obviously a city builder. But, uh, yeah, shout out to him, and also my friend I'm Kibitz, or Cody, uh, who had done some coverage on this, and I, I just thought it looked really cool, and I wanted to check it out over here. Um, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with voxels, but I'm okay with this, and hopefully that will seem apparent as we go throughout the stream. I'm going to leave this city because this is one I had done for about an hour and a half a couple days ago. Some stuff is still new to me, but I think I get enough of the game that we could kind of get started, and I want to hold your hand through the beginning. Um, I guess I will just say this really, really quick for one more minute. The game has a lot of puzzle elements with rise of civilization through the ages, so you're starting off with, like, builder's huts and cutting down woods, and then it eventually progresses into needing more advanced, like, um, uh, what is it? Uh, what is that psychological period of needs? needs? Is it, it's not Pavlov. Oh, I'm gonna keep kicking myself for Maslow's. I believe it's Maslow's hierarchy of needs, but you keep going up through civilization and you get like sports arenas. It's really neat. Kind of like a puzzle twist on the city builder genre. Not really that thick, meaty cities, skylines, spreadsheet goodness, um, but definitely a chill and laid back game. And if you're into city builders, I would recommend giving this a long, long look at the very least. Um, again, big thanks to the dev for a key to this. So again, take everything I say with a grain of salt, but let's... Uh, Let's leave this town, which has, like, pretty developed villages, uh, you know. Like, these are actually rich houses. We have a couple of villas that keep away the pores over here, so none of the pores in here. Look, there goes a, a rich right now. Richard the Rich. We have coal mines. But, yeah, you can really get lost in the details here. And I, I, I think that that is always, um, always nice for a city builder, so it does have some of those bigger simulation elements. Anyway, um... I'm not going to explain anymore. Let's just go back to the main menu and uh, get started in full. No, I will not save the game. All right, so we'll go to new game. Uh, I'm just going to go for city name. Mick... The... CD... Cityton... CD... B... C... Cityton... Mick... B city tin. There we go. Uh, map size. I'm going to go for giant. This really is going to make the game easy because it does have a lot of puzzle mechanics. But uh, starting resources standard. I want to leave the rest pretty much the same. I just don't want to get caught in awkward space. This is really not going to be that challenging. But it, for me, it's more of just like a relaxing game. So I, I see it as that. I want to make something cool by the end of the session. But other people may have their own intellectual goals. There's a really good tutorial down here which i'm going to leave but not really explicitly follow um just maybe like super fast you can change your perspective from isometric to well full 3d perspective here um you can kind of switch around some of the am i doing this right no, i haven't fully got the camera controls yet but anyway we have a much larger region here as you can see um and how are we going to begin so we need to start off with roads and this isn't just, like, visual fluff. We're going to need to actually use these resources. And the snow will also affect our yield of resources and livability and the deserts and stuff like that, too. So I think I'm just going to start off somewhere where I can get a nice farm in. So probably an open area. I also want to build near a coast. Just because I think it'll look cool. And I'm probably going to run into a bunch of roadblocks, but that's okay. Uh, so let's just do... We will need a forest somewhere, so let's start right about here. Yeah. I'm actually going to just delete these trees. I don't believe that's going to use up any of our resources there in the upper right. I also think that this game is just very good at bringing everything down to bare bones. Um, 
Now, I don't know if there's going to be any real consequence to just deleting these tiny patches, but I, I want to keep a clear slate because I want to stay organized because my first city was really not too organized. Um, let's go over here. Six roads. We didn't use up any resources for the roads, so we pretty much have infinite of that. Uh, what other stuff? Is the map procedurally generated? I don't really know if the... Um, if the f if I understand procedural generation enough to say, def but yes, it is random. It seems to be like it's not just one map. I don't, I don't think. I mean, there were seeds before. You saw the seeds before. There are seeds again now in the field. And it's those six fields we've built. Um, we can now we're getting into these like puzzle like uh, constraints though. Cannot be more than five spaces from a road. So. Let's just build these out the max space from a road, because we're probably going to need to do that. Um, houses can't be more than three squares from a road. Now, we could go super dense like this, but it's going to benefit us to, like, leave room for stuff. Now, I want to treat this kind of like a real city. Because if I just kind of put everything right next to each other in the tutor as in the tutorial, uh, I'm going to screw myself really bad. So I think I'm going to want to have some kind of road that goes along the water. Uh, and since it's not going to cost me any resources to do this right now, uh, and I just think that, uh, you know, I want to get things into nice blocks, but I also kind of want to max out my room. I think I'm just going to put down some of this infrastructure right now. And I wonder if it does actually cost up... <laughs> I haven't really gotten into these intricacies. I've just sort of been in enjoying it as a puzzle. But, uh, yeah, let's do that. And we'll try to keep things relatively straight. So it looks like right here is our first kind of line that we come out of. But, um... Mm, let's do this. Three, four. Mm. There we go. Ah, big thanks to Beast and Whales and Tito Canu for the subs, and also everybody who subbed when I had my notifications off before. Um, so I think that we'll try to get like an actual grid going because grids are like grids are love and life. Sir, as Shrek this once is a said. Wendy's. I wonder if we could get a Wendy's, though. I went back out into... So, the last weekend, I went into an inner tube. And I was just memeing in an inner tube on a river. It was a bizarre... Uh, it was just a bizarre day in general. More on that later. Hmm. Get information on a house tile. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to keep going a little bit through the tutorial. I'm going to get rid of this after we get the basics, though, because you can do this tutorial for, like, hours and hours. And it is enough. It is enough. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but, you know, you'll want to do... You'll want to do more. So each house kind of reduces the city building genre to the bare bones of the black box that is in a city builder. You have a flow of resources here on the right. So... This game really strips that down, and I think that that is good and it is pure. It's like playing a game of chess if it were a city builder, uh, but with more puzzle-like elements. Anyway, so take a take a sip of your drink every time I say puzzle-like elements. Anyway, um, food consumption minus eighty, but it, we're producing one twenty-six from our farms, and our storages are maxed out at three hundred. So you have a bin, and you have a flow. Bin and flow. Uh, we got to keep this going in a decently good way because you can kind of screw yourself in this game. Like, if you create too many houses, well, you'll have a good supply of labor or work. But they're going to start eating a lot of food. So I know that I'm going to need a lot of people because I really didn't build enough houses the first time that I played this. So I'm just going to build along the waterfront here uh, many houses. And then at the same time, I'm also going to build a lumber camp. I'm going to need to destroy something. I'll just destroy one of these random trees. Uh, but here we are, we've got food. We're actually using up way too much food right now. Because we have too many people. <laughs> Let me just uh, slow down for a second. Because I shouldn't have done that. Good, we can still build a field because it's going to cost us labor. So people create the food, and this is sensible, I think. We can put this over here. That's something. Okay, so now we're going to need a lumber camp. So we want a lumber camp. It's going to cost us five labor. So as you can see, you can't really ever just totally run out of resources. Like there's, there's always an answer, I suppose is what I mean to say. Now the lumber camps need to go near the woods. And you can see that this is becoming kind of a geometric nightmare and that this is going to need to go next to this, but this also needs to go next to this. So it's kind of like this placement 
game. Uh, we've got to hover over the resource bar. We've already got 100 population. We press control to sit down. Why did my computer's FPS just die out there? That was strange. This looks so sketchy. This should become a game unto itself. Anyway, I think we can also do this. Change the perspective like that. Good, but now we're going to get, go to a... Click on the farm icon and hover over the farmhouse. Oh, here we go. So now we've started unlocking new stuff. So if we want to start to access more things in civilization, like I said, we start out with just these village huts and then maybe some, like, farms. And not really even farmhouses, but just a couple of lumber camps. Um, yeah, here we're coming to those puzzle-like elements. Take another sip. Mm, we're going to go ahead and need... 200 population. So let's go ahead and build more houses. And our flows seem to be flowing. So I'm just going to continue living my life here, allowing the flows to flow. Good, good. Uh, damn it. We ran out of wood. See, because that rhymed with food. Uh, I was just trying to rap to myself earlier. I really wasn't a very good SoundCloud rapper. But, uh, you know, maybe now that my YouTube career has taken off, we can... Finally use this just as the uh, true goal to get that SoundCloud career going. Anyway, 200 population, what are we at now? 156, so we're clearly going to need a lot more houses, but if we want to support the houses, let's go ahead and build more woods. We can build the woods into the forest, we go, but actually this is kind of sitting on the edge, so I'm now starting to realize that this was a dumb idea. We can go ahead over to this woods. This woods? I guess these woods is what I meant to say. But I didn't because I'm a, a slob. We've got so much space for wood, we want to make sure that we're maxing out enough of these. So I'm going to go ahead and just go deeper into these woods and build yet even more lumber camps. Because I happen to know, because I've played some of the game, that I will definitely need more lumber camps. Here we go. Another one there. A jolly lumberjack. La 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 la. I mean tra la la la. I'm a lumberjack. That was my lumberjack song. You, you got that for free. You didn't even have to pay for it. It was a good time. So now we've got this flow. We've got positive 60. We want to make sure that we're getting all of our flow going. So let's get more flow over here. Good. Um, me thinks another lumber camp. Good. Good. Yay, verily, we have succeeded in our goals. Let's just keep building houses, places where I'm not... Like, kind of filler areas, because I think I want my main city to be here, and it's going to get very blocky there. But I don't know exactly what I want the blocks to look like yet, so I don't want to fill it in with crap that's going to impede my progress. <laughs> impede. Impede. Very funny. Okay, let's go ahead and do some housing over here. Now, it's not really optimized perfectly. Like, we could do more dense housing. In fact, you know what? I'm beginning to see that this was a massive waste. Delete all of this, delete all of this, delete all of this. Just put houses there because we need to pack people into tenements, I think. Now we have tons of labor though, and we can usually just translate labor out into other things. Hey, Garfelt the Cat, thank you very much for the sub. I have up to six rows of houses if you want to dance it. I know that there's probably optimization in this game, but at the same time, I'm willing to do some and then at the same time also too. I think that's a little bit counter counterintuitive, you know what I mean? So farmhouses, now we need no other farmhouses in a five radius, so now we're coming to another, yes, take another sip, puzzle-like element, where we need not a thing nearby, or somewhat nearby, but we need the thing, AKA the farm, very much nearby. So let's go ahead and put down a farmhouse uh, over yonder. Yonder? Can I say yonder? The one thing I don't like is that you can't just pave over something without having to destroy the other thing. I guess that makes you completely certain. But I, I get a lot of repetitive stress injury from, like, video editing. So I would like to just do one click rather than, you know, like, this, this stuff. Hmm. Minor, minor, minor critique. No farmhouse. Oh, wait a minute. That was in a five radius. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. There we are. Farm, farmhouse. Farm, 
farmhouse. Now we've kind of optimized this placement. I wonder if we could square this. Oh wow, maybe this is actually the secret of love that I found right here. Nope, I thought I had found the secret of love. But perhaps we could have some farms in an optimized configuration. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, press F and then the two key. There's a little bit of hotkeys over here. Upgrade any wooden hut. Okay, so each house has kind of like a ladder that it goes up, or each building in the game has a ladder of upgrades that it goes up. If you've ever played Rise of Nations, uh, the PC game, which is kind of old and nostalgic, and we've been doing a lot of that lately, I'm sure this will be immensely satisfying to you to see how your civilization just kind of evolves, like into Charizard over time. So right now we have two, um, what was it? We start off with, we've got these up to village houses. I think we had wooden huts before. I'm not sure we have any wooden huts left. But wait, wait, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Oh, they're using up too much food and we've eaten all of the food. Okay, yes, this is probably bad. Uh, I actually don't know if we could have a massive population decline. <laughs> this is not what I had planned. This wasn't in my notes, but it is rather funny, I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna remember B for demolish because that might be the one uh, key that's useful to me. Anyway, I was a little right hand heavy when I was playing this. But yeah, right hand, left hand. What is it? So this is just like banished. Uh, Shagna actually, what is it? Farthest Frontier is another one that we've had like a good run of city builder games. Okay, so we've got a, a, a line of upgrades to go here. What is this? This one is abandoned. Oh, I haven't even seen this yet. That's kind of neat. Oh, uh, well, we have to... Uh, let's just see what that what happens with that. I kind of like the look of those. Oh, yeah, and you can also do this, where you slightly rotate around. It's going to bother me because I can't get it perfectly isometric again. But, yeah, so you've got all these upgrades on the tree, villa, and so on and so forth. But they have various um, requirements. Anyway, Lumberjack Cabin, we're now going to need to build in proximity to our, um, to our woodcutting camps. And as you can see, I'm starting to unlock more icons, which is kind of why I said that this game is like Doodle God before. You know, you start to unlock new elements if you've ever played that game. I know it's kind of a light app, but I, I think it's an apt comparison here. Wow, that was so punny. Get it? <laughs> oh my god. I've become so unbelievably good at puns. It's getting really annoying. In fact, check the food production by hovering over the food indicator. We have plenty of food, of course we do. Press escape to see the menu, I've done that. Build a tenant farmer. I'm gonna start to put this away as we start to get, like, education in our neighborhoods, but as you can see in our village, we're starting to get more people moving around. I'm not quite sure that the cars have changed. Um, but is this in here? Where is the... I'm gonna skip ahead for a second, just because I want to shoot, not the Urbecopedia achievements window. Wait, maybe it was under achievements window, yep. So once you start to get certain milestones, you will start to see more and more activity in your town. So it will visually evolve as you keep playing the game. You'll start to get pickup trucks, and then you'll get uh, people crashing into the pickup trucks very dangerously, but you need to get certain requirements, like luxury cars, you need luxury houses. Um, Productivity, you know, pickup trucks, because everyone driving a pickup truck, is, of course, is being productive. Um, but, no, I would like to buy a pickup truck and drive it around and be unproductive. I don't have a pickup truck, but I wish I did, because there's so many things I want to put in it. You know? Like, just the TV at my house. Just carry it around in case if I feel like getting out and watching TV, and I think that's perfectly American of me. I think that's labor-saving technology. It's it's like um, it's like an American pizza. All the food groups at once. Now we're going to go ahead and build a tenant farm. We do have like class stuff in this game going on. We have city policies. So I'm, This one was a little bizarre. Three or more farms in one radius. Um, okay, this was dependent on tenants. Uh, Farms and not farm houses. This was confusing to me when I first did it. But if we do the tenant farmer, just like along the edges, no other tenant farmers, five or less tenant farmer. I suppose we could just kind of do like every other field space is a tenant farmer. This seems highly unproductive, but yeah, we could just do this. We delete, 
and then do... <laughs> this is going to look ridiculous, but I do kind of want to try to optimize it. We just put tenant farmers everywhere. It would be kind of interesting to go down this rabbit hole, and I could spin up, excuse me, some challenges in this direction. I, I, anyway, I think it would be fun. We'll just put some landlord's house. I'm enjoying the kind of political divide that we're already getting, though. Like, not really for any particular reason, just that someone needs to own it. And, oh, okay, this has made its way into this city builder. Not just like some sort of utopia. Everyone owns everything, you know. Uh, of course, of course. It would be interesting to see an alternatively non-capitalistic uh, city builder. Anyway, uh, Lumberjack House. So now we're getting to Lumberjack Houses. And I believe this is, is this under production. I'm not going to go in 600 population and build. Oh, we are not yet at 500, uh, 600 population. So we are going to need to get this. But I am going to start to, probably once we hit education, like I said. I think then I will abandon these logs. But I like nexted through all of these buttons that you can press and you can just keep going on and on for hours in order to see that uh actually this is one i am starting to forget now yeah energy so we're going to start to build power plants and stuff like that um yeah send our so we can send people on vacation but we do have luxuries and stuff like that so we're going to start to get casinos so that's actually not such a bad comment to make there um Three lumberjack cabins, so we actually are going to need more lumberjack cabins. Some things seem, like, very oddly specific. To, like, well, why do they need that in the civilization? And you can kind of feel the game designer just like, uh, I could add that today. But it, I, I also think that can be very fun. And I, I suppose that is kind of like Minecraft, because it's how Notch, like, kept adding... Isn't it how... They just kept adding things into early Minecraft... Uh, at this point, I should probably say that forests, forests is, am I turning into Gollum? Forests can be depleted, so you do need to kind of keep an eye on your resource management. Uh, and in most of these games, you do have a limited space, but you can reforest and stuff like that too. Um, but yeah, just kind of neat that there is use, actual physical use of resources, because it does seem a little static at first glance. Um, Lumberjack having to, oops, we gotta upgrade these things, my bad. Okay, so we've got to do Lumberjack House. So to see the requirements, one or more Lumberjack, Lumber Camp in a three radius. We've got currently one. Uh, no Lumberjack Cabin. Four or more squares with at least six radius. Okay, so we've got to start to move people physically in. So I didn't really optimize this on my thing, but we got to have people start living nearby it. And it looks like our other flows are good enough that we could just start to build up houses around these camps. Not quite in the woods, because we don't want to waste the woods. Um, I'm going to be like the Lorax here for a minute. Save the woods. Save the woods. <laughs> Nothing's more fun than when you get to imitate the Lorax on stream. That's always a good time. Park unlocked. Uh, we got to build a grain silo to feed the, feed the Lorax. The Lorax. I just lost it a little bit there. Didn't they make a Lorax movie? I like the book. It's good, but I wasn't ever a child. So we've got three out of four farmhouses. Distance from Rose is the reason why you couldn't build a farmhouse in the square I wanted. Yes, indeed. Yay, verily, indeed. I could probably find some sort of optimized grid as, like, um... Kind of remember, like, when I did the SimCity 3000 Magnusanti video. Um, boop. Here we go. Grain silo. Grain silo unlocked. Everything is frozen. Oh, that was an autosave. Nice to have a good autosave feature in games like this, however. So we need no grain silo in a six radius. Currently zero. Uh, oh, the only thing that we're missing here. Now I can read through the... Let me go ahead and read through some of this, because I want to be a little bit more organized. No grain silo in a six radius, so clearly there's none. No modern grains, clearly there's none. Two or more farmhouses in a six radius. So we kind of want to do farmhouses... And grain solos in, uh, not solos, grain solo, like guitar solo, you know, um, in that type of radius. But let's go ahead and just make this the farm, farm boy area. Or you know what, uh, the temptation to make everything into a grid is too strong. Uh, yes, I will make it into a grid. What do you think, I'm a maniac? Of course I'm going to go for a grid. 
Hmm. The farm, the farmer life. And we need to have it over yonder, yes. There we are. Oh, I didn't need a road. Very well. Neighborhood council unlocked. Okay, I'm going to do this because this is extremely inter- Whoops. Neighborhood cat. Oh, no, we don't have it yet. Uh, yes, we do have it. Minimap, and the minimap is very nice. I am releasing endorphins when I see the minimap because it, it contains squares. Does anyone else just get, like, a rush of serotonin whenever they see pixels? And it hasn't worn off, although that the genre has become cliched. Neighborhood Council, I'm going to go ahead and put that over about here. Yeah, I think, uh... Actually... Probably going to be like a property value raising the... Why aren't they building there? Oh, because they're more than three away. whoops it daisy Put it here on the corner. Because now we need to launch an edict. <laughs> edict. Uh, so sorry, funny word. Uh, Right-click on the neighborhood. Uh, okay, here we go. I don't have all the hotkeys memorized. But yes, you can... And this is where, like, the real politics come into this game. Is that you can start to make policies. So there is more than just geometric spatial reasoning going on here. Uh, and this is what I really have yet to explore. And there's good writing here, too. Which is always fun. Like, serfs is a policy. No, no, they are not our slaves. They just have to work for the landowner. Effect. Tenant farmers and landlords' houses increase the production by 50. So you could go ahead and do all of this stuff, like support the city's football team. Um, if we give food to the players, I'll be more of a put football pitch. Football. A lot of it is in, like, um, I, I've never heard it called a football pitch because we don't call it that in America, um, or at least in the U.S. Um, sport and leisure by one, but consume 50 food. But, yeah, there's a little bit of that to read through. Um, parks produce 10 food and... Inhabitants can make vegetable gardens. Produce... That seems like a good thing if you wanted to get more food. This kind of reminds me of the board game Agricola. There's no edict that I really... Oh, I have to launch one. Okay, let's have, of course... Mm, large landowners, sustainable forestry, decreases the production... I don't really think that I'm overdoing it on the logging. People will be happier. Well, I did take a while to get happiness. But let's in yeah, let's do this to increase the happiness. So people will just do better jobs. So that way they're happier at night. And they don't just cry themselves to sleep. That seems agreeable. Let's go ahead and put another road here. I want everything to be perfectly packed in. That just gives me some satisfaction. There you go. Live in your alone house. Enjoy your... Oh, it has no road connection. Whoops. Yeah, we do actually need that. How come I can't go over these ones? Huh. Oh, wait. I'm in the house menu still. Whoops. I meant to do roads. What is the roads button? R. That It's it's helping me to memorize more of these now. Okay, so R and B. Uh, not connected. So that is now updating, and that should update in 543210. Okay, that's going to update. There we go. Uh, so now we need to do something very specific, and this is where this game gets very satisfying and enjoyable. Edict, the counterpart to E-Girl. <laughs> oh, that was actually really clever. My god. Half the reason I love streaming is just because when you get 984 people in a room at once, someone is going to have something very clever to say, and can say it all over all the hubbub. I think, like, if we were in a loud auditorium and someone made a, an extremely witty joke, you know, um, no one could hear it. But of course, of course, here on Twitch, we can all hear your your dumb joke. All right, so we've got four houses, and I believe we need a park between these two. I remember this one vividly because it's probably my favorite thing that I've seen in the game. And look, these are going to change from smooth-brained houses into, let's speed up time just for this moment. Uh, did I do it right? Two by two, away from five. To, they are clearly away from everything. There we go. Did you just see how the villa came up from hell and consumed these four houses? And now it's just housing rich people. Um, I think that's exactly like real life. So, a good time. A good time is being had by all. Um, hmm. Let's see. Path of Productivity. 
Hey, everybody coming out to the stream for the first time. Thank you very much for coming in. Gentrification, indeed. Based. Um, follow, complete the following conditions to level up. Wood production, grain silo. Now, I would like to have a yellow car. Make it more like Bob the Builder. Uh, wait a minute, what was that? Achievements, just more achievements. Can we see all of the achievements at once? I'm just going to stop asking questions and continue in motion. I guess that's what I'm trying to say is... I can't decide when I'm playing this game whether to, like, step back and enjoy the details, as I kind of do with every city builder, um, or really just stay in and keep working, because I, I just find these games relaxing, because they kind of help me enter a flow state in my mind. I know, in fact, that I'm going to need several more villas to get one of the next policies, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this right now. I think we need them, what is it, five spaces away, so they don't really count it out. I'm not going to optimize it, but I'm just going to create a part of town where it's, like... A lot of villas. And if you were to drive by, you would say, they must have money. And they must have risen out of hell. There we go. Um, Noom, that was a villa. Noom, here's another villa that I'm going to make. Wait, are you already a villa? No, that was just a large, poor house. I don't know why this has become a meme on YouTube. Like, I feel as though every... Wait a second. Autosave. There we go. Every game about a... Every video about a simulation game, it's sort of become a meta that we're just going to make a lot of money. And I, I realize that a lot of my own videos kind of became about this. But it's because... What, are you going to try to progressively become poorer and... Po oh, wait. We're near too many people over here. Because, of course, they don't like being near them. It's sort of like when you don't have a challenge premise for a YouTube video. It's just like... Well, get rich, which is just sort of everyone's existential crisis in life because they don't really know the meaning of life. So they just sort of fill in the blank with more economic grind, you know? I'm going to say some more real stuff throughout the rest of the stream. We're going to hover our mouse over the happiness icon because no one is currently happy. I don't really know how to read this yet. 88, wooden hut, 6. I'm assuming, excuse me, I just bumped my mic. I'm assuming that the number in parentheses here, I'm not going to move around my mouse because then it disappears, but that number 13 in parentheses, like, I'm assuming that the people in the villas are very happy. The people in the wooden huts are the least happy because they live in a wooden hut. A village house is slightly a happier place than a wooden hut, so 8, fair enough. Tenant farmer is actually is probably even less the happier than all. And the landlord house is pretty happy. Okay, so then, sensible. Um, probably the number on the left is the number of them. Actually, that would make sense. And then another point five that I just yeeted for policies. Um, villa, and you see upgrade. Villa upgrades into a mansion. I believe that we get the mansion after we get, what is it, two? Ten or more green areas in it. Are you kidding me? Wow. All right, so. You know that vine of the guy looking at the camera and going, wow. You know. It's my favorite vine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at that. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Okay, so I haven't been looking at my flows. Wow. Sad. Sag. Uh, we, uh, hang on a second. I have, I have used up too much of my flow. We have a good... We're good on food. We have plenty of food. And we're going to need to balance these things, too. I don't know if we can really just get a surplus of one or if they always need to be in balance over time. Like, is there a way to just get infinite of one, but... I don't know, I'm kind of curious to see what will happen with that. We can make bridges, too. I'm just going to make one because, you know, I am a, I am secretly a bridge. There we go. I'm not a man. I'm just a bridge who's been making Let's Play videos on YouTube for years. No one has discovered me yet. Build a water mill. Um, this is under production, so this is going to give us more energy. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and just build more houses because what I'm seeing is that I'm using up a lot of labor here, and I have a policy that makes people happier but creates less labor. And I want to keep that in place right now, sort of. Whoa, that guy's going fast. Um, yes, I know. Imposter. Sussy AA. Sussy, sussy Baka. Um, but I am actually a bridge. Uh, there we are. Water mill. I don't really know what it needs to be by. Be by. Wow. Be by. Um. But I think that's good. Build a dock. Build a dock. 
I haven't gotten too much into the water. I probably should have done this instead. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I know you want me to make all of this into farms, so I'm going to keep this land as farms. And let's go ahead across the river, because I don't believe that there is any, like, commuting in... Wait a minute. Actually, I take that back. I do believe that there is, like, a large amount of commuting in this game when you get into the later parts. I'm not entirely certain, because I haven't gotten up to modern civilization yet. I've gotten to sort of, like, you know, serfdom. A little bit past what we're in now, like a little bit the coal era. Everyone remembers the coal era back in the 90s, you know. Good time. I think we're going to build the houses continually across the river, and we'll just try to create a big grid. So if we can build houses three in, let's just have a dense cluster of houses here. And I'm going to stop paying so much attention to these woods, because I have given myself a large map in which I can just kind of be free to do whatever I want. Um, this is going to make, this is going to be like nails on a chalkboard to some people, but I'm just going to do it. Here we go. Uh, so houses, what is it, three from the roads? So that gives us a square of three, 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 three. See what I did there? So that way, what I'm planning on doing is just roading this baby up. Road me up, baby. You ever been to some ground that was getting paved over by asphalt and you could vocally hear road me up, baby, from the gentrified people underneath the ground? Okay, we're going to go ahead and build a dock now. <laughs> dock. <laughs> uh, oh, the squares are yellow where it would be allowed. What a what smart boy wrote this game. Wow. Hovering over the wood indicator. Uh, oh no, we, wait, we are running out of food. I don't want to get to the point where we run to zero with food, because then we're going to need to just start doing some crazy stuff, because then we'll, we will run low on labor, and it's be, it will be a downward spiral. Oh, everyone loves a downward spiral sometimes, though, right? Like, it's great to watch your civilization come up, and then it's a... This is the reason why I play games alone now, is that so that I know the story of what caused the downfall of whatever civilization I was playing. You know. Some people stream it. No, I just need to have it be quiet and cathartic whenever I play a game like that. The Coles... Yes, the Coles era back in the 90s. They sold a lot of clothes at Coles. I'm going to slow back down time because that's giving me a headache to see them all move so fast. There we are. Now, unfortunately, I don't believe that you can just click on the... These boats are manned by no one. These boats are just... We have a river uh, filled with phantom ghost boats that go through other boats. And yet they are completely opaque, unlike real ghosts. All right, so a list of possible upgrades on the wealthy village houses. So you thought that there was only one upgrade path. Au contraire, there are multiple. So we have wealthy village houses, villas. I mean, you saw how a villa is made right over there in that it rises from the underworld. But uh, these houses could still become wealthy, although they're just kind of like... I'm going to go ahead and say that these are pretty low-quality houses. Um, but let's go and try to make this into a wealthy village house. So we need one or more food services and one leisure service within a five radius. So now we have so, so many more things down here. What are these things? God, if I... Uh, heck, if I know. Um, <laughs> I, I believe that the village bar is one of them, though, that we're going to need. Uh, and the market, I happen to know, is going to need to be near farms. So now we have the intellectual gymnastics that we need to somersault through of getting a bar, uh, sorry, excuse me, a market nearby the farms, which hitherto forth we thought could just be separate from our houses. Because in modern civilization, most people don't live right nearby a farm, but most people eat food. And they aren't picking it out of the farm, they go to a store. But that requires exporting, and yet, so far as of yet, I have not yet encountered this in this game. So build a local market or a mini market would be, is that, no, is that here? Uh, services, this may be here. I, I, the graveled, the gra wait, the graveled area is actually quite nice, and I do believe I'm going to need that, but that is not what I am seeking. Um... The one thing that I do kind of regret that I probably won't get up to in this video is just the fact that I won't have an advanced civilization. So if people really like this, uh, and it gets bazillions and bazillions of views. Look, see there are more wealthy people rising out of the underworld to take away the houses from from the uh, 
these starter homes from the poor. There we go. Hover over a happiness icon in the top right corner. We, I think we know how this happiness works. Um, iron mine. Now, we do start to run into problems, too, if the happiness goes too low. I haven't encountered this yet, but I'm kind of curious as to what happens. Oh, and there, I didn't notice this before, but we have a patch of snow that actually can't be farmed. So there is yet more puzzle, and the... It's not like you can just cover over everything, at, at least as far as yet as I've seen. You do kind of need to adapt to the area around you, but you can delete that if you want from the game settings. Okay, iron mine. I don't think anyone wants to live near the iron mine, so if I'm going to start a, like, a grid of houses over here, let's put the iron mine... And again, I've made this kind of easy for myself because I've made the map so big, but I'm going to put it way, way the hell over here. Um... Oh, wait a second. Have I completely screwed myself right here? So... Oh, okay, no, there... I believe that is one, is it? Yeah, iron ore, there it is. Alright, so, yeah, we obviously need to be near iron because there's not just iron everywhere. There is coal everywhere in this game, though. I know in real life there isn't coal everywhere. But I've also never dug well beneath the Earth's surface because... I don't own excavation tools. Ashamed as I am to say that. Here we are, iron mine. We need more population, though, so let's go back and build up our population again. Looks like our flows are doing great, so let's just leave that there for a minute. Can I do this over the trees without thinking about it? Nope, I've got to kill the trees. I have upset the Lorax yet again. Okay, R for roads. Now I'm kind of getting these controls. Yeah, this is really reminding me of Islanders somehow. Have you guys played Islanders? If you like this game, you'd probably enjoy that. Stealing from the iron mines. Yes, yeah, so people will... I believe that they do actually rise up in rebellion if, if it doesn't go well. Um, let's go ahead and just delete these. Was I found that there were certain biomes that were more like predisposed to development more. Like, um, it seemed to me where I left the bookmark in this game that you're best off building houses in, so for example, like the snow. But I don't know what else you would build in the snow, so... A sad day for snow farms, or farmers that wanted to rely on runoff from frozen water. Ooh, a five, a five now, a ten. I don't really know how often the uh, flow updates. I guess every couple seconds. Get five iron miners houses. So interesting fact, interesting fact. If you live nearby an iron mine, you are an iron miner. And if you are a child who mines for iron nearby an iron mine, you are an iron miner miner. How cool is that? <laughs> Five iron miners houses. There they go. And they're going to need food from over here in um, Oppressiveville. Let's, that's a, got a good ring to it. I believe that this is desert. Yeah, so we won't be able to build on the desert. And is this less fertile? I honestly don't know, but I'm just going to build there anyway. So I guess let's do... I probably should have done these hey in man, like 10 by 10 grids. Sending some good vibes from the northeast. Catch to live. Oh, that was a productive misreading by the TTS bot. Hey, thank you, Facebook. Much appreciated. Hmm. Hmm. He thinks that the next thing should be evolution for suburb house okay here we go so this is where we get i'm gonna go back to my, the part of town that i cared about a little bit or in fact i was doing it over here let's go over here and just do this because i'm sort of getting civilization organized over in this area and we might as well keep it nice and boxy oh wait a minute i'm just realizing too no i am gonna need farms well i don't know if i can export locally let's leave this side of the river for like i know what i'm doing and this side of the river for i don't know what i'm doing you might need to rely on other mental tricks like this. Hmm. It's it's like when you play Factorio the first time, and then after about three hours, you think, I have to restart. <laughs> you know, like everything is just spaghetti in a mess. Evolution for Suburb House. So let's go ahead and check this out. Suburb House. I hope I'm going fast enough for you, but I, I do feel that this is a very laid back game. So I'm just enjoying all the twists and turns. Food services and six radius, so we need one or more education. Let's just build everything across the street. You say street, I say street. School. Get in here. 
I love school. Okay, I believe that these are sub suburb. There we go. And to see how I'm doing. I can check how I'm doing just by journaling. Hmm, path of productivity, wood production. Let's go get some more wood production happening because uh, grain silo, I need more. Five grain silos. Five grain silos. How am I going to get that? Farmhouse. Does it need to be? I suppose it doesn't need to be adjacent to the street. Does people normally know what adjacent means? I think it's because I was like a big board gamer as a kid. And I... I read so many manuals to board games. Here we go. That we get, we keep getting that little slight hiccup every couple seconds because of the autosave. But I just want to let you know that I would never autosave any game for you. It's the game that did that, and not me. I am not the one who's to blame. I can see here I'm gonna have a slightly awkward spot because I think 10 by 10 might be the optimal size for farms. Uh, get poor suburbs. Build a square condominium. Oh, yeah, square condominium. What are, how do we get that again? I want to say, yeah, square condominium. We need <laughs> condominium. That's another funny word. Let's make this into what I would like it to be. Rose. I think rose might work in this game. I'm just going to try out various things and see if they work. This city is already looking just slightly more organized than my last one, which is just total, like stream of consciousness get poor suburbs so we should now be able to go into parks and i guess if they're going to be a poor suburb do i want to put it near like the like the we labor in the mine all day you know yeah something like that there we go uh or i could put it near the tenant farm well in fact you know maybe that's i'm assuming how happy the miners are maybe they're like happy jolly dwarf miners Nope, they do have pretty average happiness. I iron miners' houses are six, but that's also the equivalent of wooden huts, so indeed they are not that happy. At least in the deep lore of this game, which I'm not here to fight about. I'm just going to accept it as it is. Let's go ahead to this square condominium and put that there. Haha! <laughs> How is that a condominium? A condominium is a place where a single person lives, usually. <laughs> that is a statement. Um, we're just going to leave that one right there. Uh, gravel area. Uh, advance in the green area's path. You must con increase the... Now, is this an N move? No, where is this? Achievements. Green area's path. Oh, so this is... I want to say, yeah, green area's path. I believe that this is like this tree... In this game, we need to build graveled areas. And what is the advantage of a paved area for the floral park? So let's go ahead and put this near the people who deserve everything over on this side of town. Yes, there you go. In addition to your hellish villa, you also have some gravel over there. That's very nice for you. We're going to go ahead and build a coal mine. Since coal is everywhere, we'll just put it near the other coal. This is going to be the sad part of town. Oh, sad. Sad. I've never lived in a mining town, but I just imagine it being a lot of jolly dwarves. Jolly, jolly dwarves. We do need a lot more population, though, so we're going to need to expand out the rest of our infrastructure. And what I'm starting to notice also is we are dangerously low on wood because I haven't really paid any attention to that. Aren't condos basically just bigger? Oh, that's a good point. Um, oh, is there a distinction there? Like, if it's paid for? Like, if you own it, is it a condo? If you rent it, it's not a condo? Is that a... Is that a thing? I'm always interested in these semantics of things like this. There's so many I've learned ever since I made a YouTube channel. Mainly, mainly just because people tell me that I'm wrong about stuff, and then I look it up. I'm like, what do you know? I am an idiot. And that's just the way it's been since I started. <laughs> just a, a downward spiral, day by day. No lumber camp at a 5 radius. We do have trees. I don't want to over chop this. If over chop were a word, but uh, production, more wood. There we go. All right. Make that into a grid. Ah, I didn't do it right. It's okay. It's okay. It's really not okay, but it's totally fine too. So now we're at 68 wood. I guess that's fine. 
Uh, I guess we could try to get, like, a lot more poor people to move in if we just did those... Uh, condominium thing. Wait, are those people poor? What are they? Square condominium. I figure if they can't get the whole house... I don't know. I mean, I... Mm. <laughs> now we've lapsed into this, like, strange classist vocabulary, which is just going to happen in a lot of cities, uh, Have city a fun building time. games. Look forward to seeing how you design some of requirements. Mm -hmm. Yes, the requirements. I hope that you... I hope that you... Well, I hope... I'll say what I say to everybody. I, hope, I genuinely hope that you enjoy more whatever it is you found for AWP Zoomer. Nah. Uh, I always find that people people come and go from my channel, but I, I hope that it does help you enjoy more whatever you did find in the first place. Anyway, but I guess touching on that, I've found that all cities games kind of turn into this class vocabulary. And this is based on that Clayton Ashley video. If you guys watched the Magnus Anti video I did on YouTube about SimCity 3000, um, Clayton Ashley from Polygon did a really good video and article on like classes I would really like to watch that again actually was it what is this crap in the middle of here is this doo-doo or is this like phantom boat doo-doo literally urea in the middle of the water <laughs> awesome <laughs> I mean it is the color of it there we go okay so do we have the people that we need now uh, what do we have mm-hmm 2,600. We have 2,776, so now we can build a coal mine. I think the coal mine is about as far as I'll go, because there is a part of this tutorial. And, I mean, it's the game's tutorial, but I wouldn't really play it without this, because I would always want it to hold my hand. You know what I mean? Like, maybe if I played it a lot more, I wouldn't do that. But I, I think it is useful to just have somebody guiding you there to unlock all of the stuff coal plant so not only do we need the mine and just a pri let's take a moment to appreciate this frame rate death and voxel voxel architecture you can really see each individual i think that's kind of crazy though that they've rendered an entire voxel universe but if you ever tried to create a game in unity there are a lot of great voxel like game engine packs i believe if i scroll up i can even do this it would be a really great game to make a video on because you could just get such cool stills of it. Have time go by. I don't know why, but I, it must be something with my rendering why I'm getting choppy frame rate. I wasn't getting this before. It was looking great, but yeah, I'm just noticing that now. Um, exit that and get it into perspective. Let's just take a moment to kind of appreciate all that we've done. Mm, that's nice. City skylines, Sim City. City skylines, Sim City, and just kind of sitting back here. And you can't really see that they're voxels at this distance, and I don't. On, I mean, question to chat right now: Do you enjoy voxel graphics in general? Because I'm really a naysayer. Yay or nay, chat? Yay or nay, everyone? You do. Okay, we got some Minecraft gamers in here. I'm really, I, I'll say why I think that this is a good game is because I really don't like voxel uh, aesthetics. Aside from like the original Minecraft, most of the time I just don't like them. It's weird, it's weird. But here, the fact that I can zoom in or out like Roller Coaster Tycoon style, uh, I, I do, I'll allow it this time is what I'm trying to say. Okay, coal plant. Actually, you guys are a little bit more open to voxels than I had imagined. Maybe I am just... A negative Nancy, you know, it could be. <laughs> it could be. Oh, geez, wait, 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 I wanted to see that. You can go back to the previous non negative net coal output. This is nice because the game keeps telling you to make sure that you get everything in the positive, and it's kind of like a city builder stripped down to its bare bones. I, I think it was also in that Clayton Ashley video that they talked about, or he talked about, um, what is it? like black boxes and inputs and outputs that the game doesn't show you, but this game shows you in a very elegant way, I want to say. But it actually looks like we are at a negative coal output here. Um, so I beg to differ, game. I beg to differ. Let's go ahead and put in just another row of streets that leads to another coal mine. Too bad. Too bad. Here we go. Mm. 
Yeah, away from the other coal mine. Drip the earth. Now, why couldn't you live in that house? That's right, move back into that house. You dingus. There we go. Probably should clear these out. I find that about all random forest lands on the, in this game need to be cleared just to keep your sanity. So it, it might do you some good to just... Unless if you want them for the randomness and aesthetic, do just go ahead and delete all of these from the very beginning. Like, all of you... Noom. 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 Good. Yay, Verily. Proceed to the next step. But what is the house button? Houses I can pretty much do hotkey as well. The Lorax cometh. Yay, verily. Okay. So yeah, this game is very much Lorax. Okay, so now we have a modern silo. It, it gets more and more, like, kind of trivial as we go on. Like, at one point you're getting a... I'm, what I'm going to call soccer. Football to you across the pond or literally anywhere but where I am. Um, sometimes it occurs to me that I live on an island. Yes, I am not that ignorant. But here we go. Um, not to disparage my fellow my fellow Americans. Now that you understand the mechanics of the game, I'll let you find out for yourself how to reach a modern silo. Uh, grain silo upgrade. They produce a lot of food, but they need warehouses nearby. All right, tell me how. Oh, let me find out for myself. So silo upgrade. So okay. So at this point, I'm going to leave this here. I may continue to follow it, but let's start to kind of explore some stuff on our own. Maybe we'll just take a moment to look at some of the structures we've already made and see if there's anything that this tutorial boy can't tell us right now. So modern grain silo, unlock population 3,500. We don't have that yet, and we need more grain silos. So let's obviously put in more of those. Or the less prop, uh, popular pronunciation, a silo. Silo.com, if you're looking for a house. Hmm. Get it, Zillow? Sorry, I was looking for a house. Couldn't find one, so I, so I was just upset. Here we are. Hmm, there is another Silo over there. No, no. Now, who, who dis? I think it needs farmhouses nearby. If there's no people there, though, these villa boys will be happy. I think... I mean, me thinks... Sorry. I can't understand... Uh, green silo. No, we need more farmhouses over here. Okay, farmhouse. Now, this is what I find gives me great dissatisfaction, is when I have to go back and delete the nice things that I've made. Uh, doesn't that bother you immensely? It bothers me, uh, and this is why I think it's good, it is good, to, like, memorize each thing. But I also don't want to memorize so much because I want to relax. So, here we are. No farmhouse, 12 or more farms in a 3 radius currently. Oh, we got to have it near all that? I don't think we're going to get a very high population at the farmhouse, though, so. Yeah, good enough. Oops, there we go. Let's get more farms. Why am I not able to get this? Something pressed down on my keyboard. Hang on a second. There we go. I thought my computer had died. I did go into like an endless turning on loop a few weeks ago, which caused me to have to reset everything on my computer. Weird, I built this computer myself and it's a very, very good computer. But occasionally, ever since the beginning, I've had moments where the RAM, I've suspected that it had some sort of issue. Like, if the if I get a power short, it will just die, and it won't turn back on. And I have to try all kinds of things. It's like car jacks, you know? Or, uh, what do they call it when you... Why did I forget it? When you hook up the things to the car battery. Anyway, modern silo, so we need more of these. Let's get a third silo in here. Mm, third silo... Scoring a touchdown in baseball. <laughs> Back on that one. <laughs> uh, that used to be my uncle. He would be like, did they get a touchdown in basketball? He was not into sports. He was funny, though. Green silo upgrade. Okay, so let's go ahead and see this. 
We've got three out of three of these. And some of the requirements are like global, where you just need some number of them on the entire map. Um, but let's see, population 3,500. So we've kind of made an easy way to super expand our population over here. Let's just keep downing woods because I want to keep this simple for myself because population seems to be the one thing that you just keep needing more of. Um, so if I get out my handy dandy notebook, here we are. Wow, I didn't expect I would be quoting from the fine philosophical writings of Blue's Clues today. Oh, but a bridge could be. This is a dock house. This was not in the tutorial. Now, I want you to watch this as... See, look at the roads being built up. The roads are kind of interesting in this because they go from... Wait. Nay. Nay, I say. Well, let's keep time pause for a second because I do want to explain this a little bit. Um, roads. Roads are kind of interesting. Upgrades to nice road. Now it upgrades to paved road, then nice rural road, then urban road, then commercial road. And then nice road again? Wait, I, I don't actually quite it. But yeah, there's a whole set of upgrades for roads. And I think it's very visually satisfying to just see it happen right now. Uh, it's like putting food coloring into milk with uh, dish soap, you know? When my mom ran out of things to entertain us as kids, she would just use that. It was hours of fun um <laughs> reliant when we were reliant on mom for entertainment okay so modern silo so we still need more uh we almost hit the population there let's just keep going and make another one of these another seven by seven ish section let's get more houses over here and r for roads unfortunately we can't do l-shaped road construction i'm so tempted to build a bridge over this man's life Yes or no? Hang on a second. Let's learn about his house. Fisherman house. Fisherman house. You know what I could do? I'm going to build a bridge here, and we'll build other fisherman houses over here. Yes. Call me Ishmael. That's nice. Oh, that is nice. Then this guy can't just interrupt the public uh, good with his... I insist on a bridge... Let's give it a small red bridge, which is going to be made of, you know it, red. I wonder if there are other colors of bridges. Wait a minute, is this actually made of red? Do we have the requirements anywhere? I'll be damned, that is actually made of red. Ghost fisherman, fisherman house. If you lived in a fisherman house, you'd be a ghost too. Hmm. All right. A moment to sit back and appreciate. Now, they are more, like, colorful. It's kind of reminding me of all those houses in Maine. Gunt Ghost Guy had said that he'd been to Maine, so it just gave me, like, this great nostalgia. I really loved my trip to Maine. I didn't go recently, but I, I went when I was a kid. It was a good time. Uh, beautiful state. Here we are. Let's go ahead and do just more fisherman huts. Now I'm, I'm getting to the point where I just want to build things. Let's go ahead and do... And I think a warehouse will allow us to store more stuff, right? Generates logistics, essential from... Oh, no, that doesn't. So that's a little counterintuitive that you can't store more goods. However, however, our storages have kind of gradually gone up. And thanks to... Well, our labor's gone up because we have more houses. I'm assuming that the f that the food storage just goes up because you have more farms. Um, probably, like, buy a lot when you have food. But it, this is also producing food, technically, which is... You don't think of a silo as producing food, but... Anyway, a more efficient structure. Let's get that modern silo now. Mm, what do we get? 3,500 population. Upgrades to modern grain silos. So do we have this... Six or more logistics. Okay, so now we do get the local requirements. So let's go ahead and do... Maybe we can get two for one in here as well. So let's go ahead and see. Modern grain silo, six or more logistics. I wonder if I built over these four squares, assuming that it does do that. B. To this. 
Oh, we actually need six of them. So it wouldn't really be in my interest to start paving over all my farms, because then I am going to have to start doing some gymnastics, like I said. I don't want to do too much of that, so let's just put warehouses, like, here. Uh, so what do we have now? Do we have enough for the modern silo? Currently four. Oh, so it doesn't count. See, this is where the radi radii get a little bit wonky, I suppose. So it's four radius, but that's the blue radius, and then there's the six radius. It's a bit much to go through in my small brain. But I suppose that therein lay the rub. And that's why this game actually does feel, like, quite deep. And I, I didn't want to say, just dismiss this game as a game and not a simulation, because this could go on, like, all day and all night for the next six days of me playing this game. Um, do not have enough skilled work. Oh, this is a new type of work. Oh. We need suburb houses, so we need to go back and make more suburbs. So let's go ahead over to Village Town, where the people do stuff and live. Um, and let's go ahead and get markets and education around. So if we have this, I'm assuming that the school in 8 radius. We'll try to just get a bunch of schools. Yeah, maybe like this. Here we go, educate them whether they like it or not. No one asked for this. Good. Does the school consume? It does, 50 shovels a day. Very nice. I wanna just take a moment to appreciate the fact that now for each new tutorial bit, it's not just like pressing one button. I might need to go back and do all of these other requirements. Um, But I'm just gonna stop talking about that now and let's just do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. School? What else did we need for suburb houses? Uh, let's see. There is no shortcut to it, it seems to me. So we need food services and leisure. So what we do need to do is open up a bar right next to the school. I'm kind of questioning the zoning in this game. This is like, um... Like those cities with zoning where you end up having, like, a strip club next to... Like a, like a daycare. Just the most bizarre zoning. Like, it, yeah, it worked out, you know, like we got affordable housing. Ah, oh, awesome, okay. But also too, uh, here's what else we got. <laughs> Let's just put in some farms and then a, I guess like, short-term farmhouse. Watch what I'm gonna do here. This is gonna be a little weird. Yeah. You like weird placements like this, though. Hmm. Ro oh, th away from three road squares. Okay, there we go. Check the requirements again. So we need only one or more food services. So now that we have the food, we can bring it in through a service. But I would like to be able to export this food. Maybe we just haven't reached that place in civilization yet. So let's assume that. Um, we're going to go ahead and need... Where was the market again? I wish I just had like a way to shortcut these things. Lumber camp, iron mine, coal camp, warehouses, factory. Uh, yay, verily, none of these are that. Where was it again? Local market, there we go. Oh, wait a minute. I just saw another type of market. That is a possibility. Fish market? Why didn't anyone tell me about this before? Fish market somewhere out inconveniently in the middle of the water. Okay, so we could subsist off of the water. That is an idea. Neighborhood council, we already have one. Okay, but now we've got a lot more suburb houses. So. Back to the grain silo. Modern grain silo. Six or more logistics. We wanted warehouses. We said that we needed warehouses. This is skilled labor, which is done with, of course, a set of metric wrenches. Um, mm, Industry, uh, yes. A little bit I'm finding now that I, and I didn't really encounter this before, is that I'm just getting so many icons that I need to memorize. But there we go. Better too many than not enough. And look at that, just like that, out of hell comes another modern grain silo. Modern grain silos and rich people coming out of the ninth circle. Excellent to see them making their way out. All right. Hmm. Build a sawmill. Vehicle? Vehicle. Oh, wait a second. Let's go look at all the cars. 
Why is he still insist on having a dock in the road? <laughs> He'll like it. There's a guy in my town like this that... It, it came to the point where the police knocked on his door because of something that he was doing. It, it was a very controversial thing. But it, it turned into this whole, like, rights thing. And I like to imagine that there's this whole... Um, that there's this whole political world going on in this game as well, despite the fact that it's run by by boxy people. Anyway, let's go ahead and um, build a sawmill. Build a sawmill. Sawmills produce uh, more timber than lumber camps, and they are also more efficient. Ooh, so this might be good. We continue unlocking new houses in the timber industry. And so, this is starting to get more new to me at this point. Uh, four or more logistics, so we need residence, logistics, and no sawmill. But it doesn't really have any requirements, and this is sort of starting to get to the point where civilization took off beyond just having to use axes to cut down the trees. This is good news, because we then don't need to rely on steam combustion to power our computers. So anyway, let's go ahead and start building up more advanced stuff. Sawmill. Now we have some people to work in the sawmill. Why can't they commute to the sawmill like three blocks away? I'm not quite sure. But I'm hoping that I get to that part soon. Alright, wealthy suburb houses. Need three leisure. Because, of course, as you know, uh, being more relaxed makes you become rich. Stop talking about... We, we're, we're only here to just make fun of this fisherman and his and his <laughs> claiming of the road. If he squats it long enough, he might actually get possession over that road again. It is fun to look at. Uh, three leisure. For each type of leisure, sport, culture, faith, green areas, and nightlife. But there is no... Oh, yes, I forgot that there was a day-night cycle. Did I turn off the day-night cycle? I forget where to turn it back on. Uh, was it here? I can reverse time. No, I cannot. Ah, uh, here we go. Set day. Set night. Oh, I can play pause the cycle. Oh, let's just have it do that. I preferred it in the day because I think it's easier to make things out, but I guess I'll switch over to day night cycle now. That's pretty um, good looking game. Anyway, so we need three types of leisure. For each type of leisure, uh, there's a path. For example, if you advance along the nightlife path, you can make bigger bars, cabarets, and finally a nightlife neighborhood. Uh, wealthy suburb houses. So we, I guess we've got to do this with suburb houses. Again, I'm kind of apologizing for playing the tutorial here, but I can't imagine how you would memorize all of these things because the game just keeps on going like this for like 20 hours. Um, I guess only if you got into the really late civilization steps. So let's go ahead and get this martini glass. Three out of five nightlife. So how do we get to this next level of pleasure? <laughs> how do we obtain the next level of pleasure? I'm assuming that a football pitch, whatever a pitch is, I don't know with my, with my Western brain. Does it, wait, who calls it a pitch? Does anyone here call it a pitch? Maybe I'm just that. I still thought they called it a stadium. Is it a pitch? A football hole. In my country, they call it a, a football cult. All right. All right. Very good. Uh, <laughs> that was inappropriate. I, I would like to read that one out loud. I'll put it on the fridge for later. Thank you very much. La Lazy Zephyr. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, ten wealthy... Okay, so where are we at now? Do we have the amount of leisure? Three out of five nightlife... Wait a second, wait a second. How do we get more li nightlife? How now, brown cow? Three or more leisure. Oh, we still got two at least. Bars, cabarets, and finally... Advance along nightlife path. Hmm. Let's just continue upon our other not nightlife paths. That are to be done only during the day. So if we put a church there, now we have wealthy urban houses and I'm going to swivel about or rotate and there we go suddenly they're using bricks and they have a mortgage to pay off rather than fish to catch you know what I mean like this guy he's eating bass trout straight from the river but this guy is eating 
Lunchables. And to me, that is kind of fun to have both of those things going on at once in the game. Anyway, ooh, very spinny. Very spinny. Take a moment. All right, very nice, very nice, very nice. It's mac and cheese, craft. Hmm. I could use some of that right now. Football pitches can be upgraded, made of grass, so we can upgrade the thing that upgrades. To me, this is ups upgradeception. You know, that is a very fine balancing act, though. Like, my head might explode. I, I do start to become a little more uncomfortable with this type of thing, though. But if you enjoy, you know, managing the spaces, you got an A in geometry, go ahead. Be my guest. Give this a try. One or more green areas in it. So we need a green area. Mm. Unless, of course, if you get to the point in the game where you're like... That's, uh, no, not a nice park. Just a park park. There we go. That's a green area. Give me the upgrade from hell. One out of three sport. By building at least three football pitches. Okay, that makes sense. So we just need globally more of them for this one to advance. Hmm. I think... Too much management, not enough opportunity for mischief and tomfoolery. I think that that's a little bit fair. To be fair, edicts, I have not really played around with. I think it would be interesting if they added in like little visual elements here just to make these edicts a little bit more in the game because it feels to me, and uh, actually that is just a bit of a critique there, um, or just maybe like a something that would be interesting to see because I, I like this so far. Um, it would be interesting if this were a little bit more of a visceral experience or if I had my policies somewhere where it wasn't like an option, but I don't know, maybe I'm just an idiot. I'm probably going to encounter that a little bit later on too. Grain of salt, grain of salt. I've got only like... What now? Three hours in the game? Um, anyway, let's go ahead and build those football pitches. Yay, Beryl. We say something intellectual and then we go about back uh, making our uh, moves. Football pitch. Where was that again? Oh, yeah, by obviously the by the football. Just start referring to things in the European terms because people will understand it more. Oh, and look at that. Trees from hell. There we go. Um, build a tennis court. Tennis court will be visible, but locked. You need the sport to unlock it. You need more sport. Note that grass football pitches give more sport than dirt football pitches. Okay, so obviously, then, that was a subtle hint. This game is playing mind games with us. Because it is also a game. So let's go ahead and put in another park. A nice park. I don't really know why that one. Maybe because it's in the middle. The Holy Trinity of Parks. Build a tennis court. Hmm. I should also say at this point, if you want to, you don't have to do everything linear in like a linear style with this. You could just keep on going next because I did this because I clearly didn't get through this whole tutorial in my last city. Um, but if you want to just skip part of the game and get to something else, I mean, you might be skipping over vital parts, but it seems that you can do that. Um, wait, no, I didn't build a tennis court. Why does it say that I built a tennis court? That clearly tennis is not football. Oh, but it's marked it as done because I haven't done that. Oh, but I have been allowed to have a tennis court. Despite the fact that I am yet... A, uh, but only a, a phantom boat captain. Why are there more? Stoneworks. Tennis pitch. Tennis pitch. Downtown houses. Downtown houses, which need more education, can be... Yes, because they are down. High school, which in turn needs steel, which is produced by a steelworks. Oh, now we have more things to think about. Now, a steelworks need to be close to warehouses and houses. So the warehouses are so far not anywhere near the houses, which I am beginning to see that this is going to be a major problem. What happened to these poor houses? A rebel house, when living conditions are bad. Oh, this hasn't happened yet. This is so exciting for me. Have rebellion in the house. Can we just delete the house? No, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't really know why they devolved into that. It, maybe it's because they're near only this. Maybe this thing spreads misery. And actually, now that I mention it, I wonder if there is like a strategic view. Ah, this is it. I think it's it anyway. 
I wanted to see like data viz, you know, hide show. Wait, wait, I, I wanted the UI back. There we go. <laughs> Ever have that moment where like you think that the universe has ended? Like we, like you accidentally opened up a black hole in your computer when you get rid of the heads up display. I'm tired of the day night cycle. I just want pure day again. I don't know why. I don't know about you, but I really just enjoy the day in these games. Um, Steelworks. Okay, Steelworks needs to be close to warehouses. I guess let's just make this entire part of town like kind of shit. They're gonna live in the snow and just be cold all the time. Well, that's what I had to do in SimCity 4. They weren't as. You just delete the people you don't. You know? Um, in an ideal world. In an ideal world, many people have many different visions. We're going to move on from that topic. Uh, build a steelworks, so this needs to be closest to warehouses and houses. So, if, yes, of course, I'm just being facetious. Steelworks needs more population, though, so let's go ahead and keep doing this. And another auto save. Good, very nice. I like it when it auto saves. What I might end up being able to do here is sort of a mix between rows and grids. Like, a grid is just something that can keep repeating, but if I could have put this in here, then this would have been like a, an enrichment square, and then I could have surrounded it with people squares, and then I could have dotted enrichment squares around to make them happier. But I think I didn't do that, and now I'm gonna die. So instead, let's go ahead and do these. B... Wait, no, H houses, H. Six by six, done. God, it's just selling out. There's so much demand to live in square town. Everybody wants to live in square town. Everyone's tired of the circles. They just want the squares back. Okay, now we have more than enough population. Now, I'm kind of curious, what do these rebels do? Let's just go ahead and look around the UI. Uh, is there a rebel? Uh, Rebel House. Shantytown, Shantytown. Where is Shantytown? Yeah, there it is. Five happiness on the Shantytown. And Rebel House. Five happiness on the Shant... Uh, it's like the tenant farmer. I am surprised it's not actually lower or negative. That would be more... Oh, well, actually, it does, to be fair, average out with everything else. But still, it seems like a pretty high value. Hmm. Hey, Zach President. Thank you very much for the 100 bits, my friend. Hmm. Steel works. Yes, not always roads, but sometimes we must turn to the squares. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yes, steel works. This is one of those games where you kind of just lose your mind every few minutes. Uh, I think that if we had enrichment squares, we would do like groups of nine, and then we would do an enrichment square around them. Because I don't think it quite reaches, but uh, I'm not trying to be perfect here. You know, break anyone's heart in this VOD. I'm just trying to show off the game and what I think is cool about it. So let's do this. There we go. B houses. Oh, whoops. H houses. Um. Noom. Done. Steelworks. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a very sad area. I can already tell. Eight or more logistics. Eight or more squares. So we need to... Make these sad people even more sad. I'm assuming that these are not as dense housing, though, or right? Wouldn't that be like a good penalty for that? Well, let's just put in more sadness. La 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 la. Uh, B, I think we want to. Did it say how far away they can be in from the road? I know that they told me at the beginning of the. Oh, distance to road, three squares. It does say it up there. I can't mouse over it, but you can see it, like, kind of lowish on there. That is a useful thing. I would, or at least I would say it was in my, in my finite wisdom. All right, so here we go. We've got some warehouses. we got some logistics. But things seem to be pretty flexible, so let's go ahead into the, not the factory. Here we go, steelworks. Uh, eight or more squares with six residents, so we do still need the housing, so we're going to need to house the people over. Let's just do it here. Maybe I'll end up putting it there? Or something? No one wants to move in. And let's bring it back one more. Okay. <laughs> yep, they were, <laughs> they were eager to build shanty towns. Nice. Hey, you know, I mean, honestly, that is kind of the toss-up in the SimCity games, to be fair. 
Like, should it all just be high wealth stuff, or should we be building more than that? We need more iron mines. So here's a good example of a, a time when we... I've lost track of how much of this resource we're using, and also, too, food is going down. I mean, food, we were at just such a high value that I don't think it's going to take long to fix it. Like, uh, do-do-do-do, done. I may have done that wrong. I think I made that slightly too large. Anyway, but, um, yeah, food's well back into the positive, 448, 452, blah, blah, blah. But, um, iron. Okay, so iron, we're running low on iron. We're not really using it for too much, but, uh... Donde esta? Okay, there it is. Uh, five room less iron industry and five radius. So we should be able to, I believe... Oh, no, we do have a finite amount of iron per deposit. It may be more than two deposits because this is a very, very large map. But love in fact, ya, perhaps no. I too love ya, man. He changed my life. Werewolf Mutt, thank you very much for the sub. Hmm, me thinks that we just put another one of them close by because this is a buttload of iron. Yeah, I'm probably not ever going to run out of that and I will probably explode when I do run out of it because that will be quite a terrifying moment. That's like when Earth runs out of oil, you know? <laughs> Everyone dies. Uh, or we just get nuclear. <laughs> or we just get nuclear. Wouldn't that be nice? All right. Um, let's go ahead and do iron mining. Yeah, more of that. I should probably build... Uh, in fact, well, too late now. I'm going to do this again. Did I need iron? Oh, did I do it wrong? No, God, no. Yeah, I don't know if you're getting this. I tried to keep the volume really low, but there is like a decent soundtrack in the background. Um, I didn't expect a good soundtrack for this because it's just like a kind of a simple game, but um, yeah, it gave me a little bit of Sim City vibes. I really love that soundtrack too. Again, I always find that the music gets too loud in these things, so just I like to keep it this way. Mm. There we go. So plus twenty-three. So we're at a nice flow of iron again. Maybe now that we've moved that slightly this away, we can also to don't pop when I'm talking. <clears throat> hmm. If we do this, and then we do this, we can extract even more. Whoops, that's not an iron mine. Uh, even more love from the earth. There we go. Maybe we could node mine each one individually. So this boy is going for this one. Look, this is only a hundred years old. Yes, because the Earth was created a hundred years ago. As you, pr as you probably... <laughs> uh, opportunities for creationism jokes. There we go. I do believe that this will still spring up because the radii are calculated diagonally, I think. Ah, uh, there is not enough food, which is why we aren't getting more people. But now we have a whole big town, Jesus. That's a lot. Six by five. There we go. Uh, does anyone think that I'm doing anything very wrong in chat and just sees it and there's something we should be changing? I apologize for not looking over more. I just do feel that this one required a lot more concentration. Corn and soy part of this. Oh, I wonder if we could switch up the resources that we're using. Mm. Maybe, maybe we're good. Iron houses require a road with one tile. Uh, yeah, fair. Actually, you know, uh, it might be more effective to just build one road and then more houses. Yeah, I don't. I guess I don't really need those houses, those other houses in the back. But if people are willing to move in behind the iron miners' houses, I might as well create opportunities for high and low income housing. But here, I feel like I'm explaining my election platform to you now that I'm playing this game. I, I might as well run because some people on the internet wanted to said they wanted to vote for me. Um, it's in my first, the first uh, virtual. It'll the, it will be a virtual debate. 
Here we go. We're losing food. Oh, yeah, we don't need that much. So now it seems to me that we're actually getting more time to kind of expand out the farms. We have used up the maximum overdrive of farmland. So let's go ahead and start to build more efficient buildings. Like if we would just do this, I think. I've made room. And the farmer house is there. No farmhouse in a... F oh, I didn't see the other farmhouses. Well, then, I'll just have to delete more nice things. Now I'm starting to get down more of these hotkeys. Okay, two, and then that, and then there, and oh, no, we actually do need all of the farms. So let's just go ahead and road this up. Road this up. I'm just going to delete this for us. Now, keep in mind, like I said, this is going to be much more challenging in a normal game where you have to work with constraints of less land because this would be like the entire map with nothing else to go to in a normal game so there we go just more farms more fams blood for the blood god 20 20 plus 20 okay now we are running out of skilled labor because as you know when you go to work you gradually sacrifice your life wealthy suburb has so we'll and well we have time before we run out of that I think we could be at the steelworks now. Did we end up getting to the steelworks? <laughs> steelworks. Uh, we do have the steelworks. You're not producing enough skilled work to satisfy construction of this. It would get a negative. Okay, so this is prescriptive policy in that when I have a negative flow of the thing, I can't create the thing. So normally in any other city builder, like this is just laissez-faire. You can just keep on doing the thing that would totally get rid of all of whatever that one resource that you had was. But here we cannot build it because it would make it yet more negative. So the game is trying to keep you to get things in balance, which is I think what kind of makes it very puzzly in its elements. And anyway, now that I've explained my thesis to you, um, let's go ahead and create more wealthy suburban housing. So I guess just more of this, which this seems to be the most interesting place where all the action is kind of happening. Um, it looks to me like we need this bar a little bit closer. Then we're going to need to start to get our whole farm game up better. Um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just take the boring route for a moment because I don't really want to do my whole farm workflow. I'm more interested in the villages over there. So let's go ahead and delete all of this. Why are you walking over there? No walking over there. The police will be at your house this evening to arrest you. There will be none of that. Mm, again, avoiding the... Snow. I could have just done a non-snow neighborhood, but you would have judged me if I had done that. Okay, now I've got these keys down. I didn't expect that I would get hot keys down. I always feel like a nerd when I start using the hot keys, but it feels good. It feels good. Uh, village bar. I think I remember where this is at now. Where is the village bar at? Why? In the underworld, of course. Is this wealthy village house? So, how do we get the suburb house again? Oh, fabulous uh, oh, we don't and have joyous a food day. Service. Come on, let's go and be cool. Yes, fabulous and joyous day. That was a, an enthralling phrase. Whatever enthralling. No. A thrill. It was good. It was good. Near Mark. Thank you very much. Hey, Sarah Growls. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Ah, oh, nice to see you. Place mini markets even away from fields for food. Say what? Wait a second. This was a smart thank you. Thank you, Anana in Crisis. Okay. Hmm. Wait a moment. Did I misread that? Did I misread that? Market, market, market. Local market. Or is there another type of market? Whom I am not seeing. Five or more farm in a... Mini mar mini markets. Min that's it. It's a mini market. What is this? The Simpsons? One food services. This is a fact. Yes. 
The town has grown. The town has grown, my friend. Thank you. Yay, verily, thank you for that. That was helpful. Um, mini market. Rise out. Seize the means of production. <laughs> there we go. Uh, village. Is there an easy copy command? No. There they go. No, I think that this will probably be a very capitalist town. Maybe. Maybe. Now we're going to go ahead and build some schools. Look at how flow our flows are. Urban bar and anarchist bar. An urban bar. I was in an urban bar the other night. For after, Actually, it was after I went down the tube in the river. I mean the river in the tube. One or the other. It was one or the other. Why has the day-night cycle continued? I requested day. What is the meaning of this? Uh, what is this? How many martinis you have? How many... Self-organization. Oh, this is probably bad. I wonder what will happen if the rebellion gets too big. I really want to just make an entire miserable town to find out what happens. Have we enough for a steelworks yet? All of that for this one dumb thing. But maybe we've accomplished some of our future goals. With that. Alright. Uh. Hmm, copy is O or B. I wonder if I could do that. So let's just see. Mm. B, O. B, O. Oh, I thought you were going to skip me to say B, O right there. I, I'm probably doing it wrong. B? Wait a minute. B? I copy. I, clearly something is happening right here, but I cannot. Oh, no, that's demolish. Uh, probably O. That. O is it in RimWorld, so I don't know if the creator has played a lot of RimWorld. Oh, I'll be damned. Yeah, I think it's O. So you click on the thing that you want, and then you click O. Yes, it is O. Thank you. Ah, nice. Now you produce steam. But at what price? My one, I guess, just like, hang on a second. Let's pause a moment and just observe everything, because we have a nice town. In particular, I like some of the emergent kind of architecture that's going up here. Ooh, like, look, this looks like a someone could have a duel in this part of town, like a western duel. Duel, you know, like pull in with their, with their mare and tie up the mare to something. Oh my God, I really wanted to say mare, but um, a mare is a horse. If you didn't know, a certain type of horse. I don't really know what it is though. So this is happening. This is happening. This part of town actually looks slightly more like I have some idea of what's going on around me because I did plan it. This part of town is sort of a. Like, I knew there would be farms here, and then it's just kind of a mess. But I would really like to play this game when I know what's going on, or, you know. I wonder if you'd be able to go back and just start a new town somewhere else if you kept on the big map for this whole thing. But let's keep going and find out. The only thing, I guess, in concern that I have is a little bit I do feel kind of like when I'm playing this that I'm checking off some boxes. Like, maybe I just haven't slowed down enough, or I'm wondering if I would go slower if I were playing on my own, like, slowly and meditatively, but, um, yeah, I guess that's kind of a thought. Um, I've said a lot of things I like. That's something that I feel like, maybe it's just because this thing seems to be guiding the gameplay so much. Like, maybe there could be an option, or, I don't know. Yeah, I would, I would like to feel like I have a little bit more control over what's going on, or, like, authorship. Anyway, brief tangent, but yeah, um... Yeah, let's, let's explore a little bit further and see what happens. Um, shall we? Shall we? <laughs> Art style reminds you of Seven Days to Die. It would be fun if there were a zombie apocalypse, though. Like, if there were too much rebellion. Um, that would always be a good time. Alright, I could think of some stupid, silly things that would make this really interesting. Because clearly a lot is going on in the simulation. And I, I like it very much. Okay, so now you produce steel, but what about price? Probably the houses near the steelworks have turned into... Yes, they have. Oh, game, you know so much. Marry me, game. Probably the houses near the ste... Yes, they have. Maybe you prefer those houses and uh, produce a lot of work and consume few resources. Although, of course, the people won't be very happy. Um, why would I prefer the shanty houses? Does the game think that I'm a dict... Well, um... Dictator? No. Uh... Among these houses, some probably become rebels. Yes, you, kn you get another thing that you know, game. Increasing the self-organization. When you have three self-organization, you can build anarchist bars. And then self-managed bookshops. Ah, anarchist bookstores. And finally, the anarchist utopia, anarchist communes. It's a long road. Whoever wrote this has a very sharp wit. 
In the nightlife construction menu, hover over Anarchist Bar to construct it. Okay. Yes, game. And then after this, we're going to wa watch a documentary on what? Libertarianism or something like that. And then we'll all have a spirited debate. I, I do think that it's kind of funny that this is in the game. And it's very tongue-in-cheek, too. It's not... If you... Some people... Some people hate everything on the internet. But, you know. Uh... But I, I, I think that this is in very good taste. Uh, now that you produce steel, you have the materials to upgrade the iron mine to a heavy iron mine. It needs steel for upgrading and logistics. Um, uh, though who am I? I am but a mere mortal, and I'm not now. Uh, six warehouses near your iron mine. Wait, heavy iron mine? Is this like heavy water, that stuff that you drink and then you die? Have you guys ever heard of heavy iron, heavy water? Mmm. Yum. Actually, I take that back. Yeah, li maybe not libertarian, because that's also... Well, the funny thing is that if you go too far right or too far left, you they start to look more and more like each other. You know, although that they're kind of like opposites. Uh, they're extremes. They do start to look similar. So we need the where We need the warehouses. Uh, I said no, day-night cycle. Why does this keep ch Oh, because... Oh, I know what happened. I never paused the day-night cycle because there is yet another pause that is going on beneath the surface. This is sensible of the designers. It took me a minute, but I appreciate that design decision. What would a hardware shop do? We don't have cardboard boxes. Because we weren't... We weren't, uh, we weren't born rich. There we go. Heavy iron mine, so we have that. Uh, I honestly forget where there they are. It's me that warehouses are now starting to become like, well, regular houses. Do you need produce? Do you do need produce a new scheme of labor? There we go. Wealthy suburb house and suburb houses. Oh, can't we just get a suburb house a, a quicker and easier way? I'm pretty sure wasn't it here? Village house, poor suburbs. Let's see if we can just do this, because it's getting to be a bit annoying to try to make everyone rich over here. Let's just take the quick and easy way out. Now it's getting a little creepy. Uh, what did I do wrong? Uh, what did I do wrong? Oh, no, the pollution is happening. I suppose, though, that maybe we just shouldn't even have these types of houses in here. Let's just allow those people to die of coughing. There we go. Um, I think we need another condom square condominium. Now, does this cover only... I think I'm starting to see this. So that covers one, two, three around it. Oh, I have seen an interesting... I have seen an interesting, and I am here to display the knowledge. This would be another alternate structure if we did three by three. Yep, I think it's going to be 7 by 3. So then 3 by... Th uh, is it 4 by 3? We put the condominium here, so actually it's going to have to be 4 by 3. Then we do another 4 by 3, and then we do that. And then if we put the square condominium, I am beginning to see the beauty of the Serpinski gasket chat. Now we can put the square condominium there, and it covers every single house in this godforsaken world. Holy cow. I just shed a single tear. Did we produce more? Oh, no. We didn't actually produce suburb houses. Well, I did something good, sort of. We're going to make it into a religious neighborhood because of the playground in the middle. All right. Very well. Very well. Religious neighborhoods. But it seems interesting that you could make different types of blocks, though. You know, like maybe... Ooh, bus, bus, bus. That bus is brake checking that guy really hard. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we need regular suburb houses. Okay, so what we needed for those basic suburb houses, this was a wealthy village house. Uh, a little bit here I am kind of turned around like, well, what was a village house? What was a wealthy suburb house? What was a regular suburb house? Um, parking upgrades to parking lot. Oh, I'm starting to see because then we could create more dense housing perhaps. Yay, Verily, carrying on. Um, 
wealthy village house. So clearly, we have a lot of wealth over here, but we don't want too much of this. So if we want a suburb house... And can I go back here for a second? Just a moment. Now, we do have... Keep in mind, we do have alternate paths. We could do... Make them a fisherman's house. Maybe it is just Phyllis. I don't know. Maybe it's not as many options as I thought. But there do seem to be some options. Uh, we need education. Whereas, uh... Or as I like to call it, school. Social building. What is that? I guess... Okay, this is starting to sound a little euphemistic for, uh... Very nice, very nice. Here we go. Noom. School. We are smart and we have lifted our houses. We got new houses from... Uh, the underworld. There we go. Wealthy suburb house. Let's just keep on building these. You know, I'm pretty sure here that if I just build more houses over here, I'm going to take the quick and dirty way out because I do want to get to a couple more things. Uh, we do B. Three by six. I'm trying to figure out what the ambient noise of them <laughs> expanding their homes is. I think it's in Spanish, so I have to assume that we're like in some Spanish-speaking country that everyone just... <laughs> Decide, decided that they were going to live in a box house one day. Which is funny to me, because I go through all of these audio samples of, like, uh, audio... Uh, there it goes again. Office ambience now whenever I'm editing a video. So, <laughs> there's just so many various samples that you can use. And things that don't really sound quite right over my videos. Like, just... Like, what if I use that for something? But now maybe it could also sound kind of funny on an English video. Just like a Spanish vocal. There we go. B. Uh, whoops. No, I didn't mean to be that. Uh, why are you not... Oh, because we don't have enough food. Ah, uh, and I see that even if I build the house there, they will refuse to build unless if they have enough food. These people live like deer who refuse to repopulate if there is not enough food in the area. That is very ethical of those deer, to do that. We're consuming more pedower than we're producing. <laughs> Power. Didn't think I couldn't say that word, did you? Ah, these towns have become shanty. They are now shanty, sh shanty towns, yep. We're getting to that time of stream where I need to take us another sip of water. Uh, now what are we missing? We need... Needed uh, that. We need more coal. Um, I think that we just get more coal out of the ground then. It's probably... Now I'm going to start to kind of figure out the optimization. I will... Excuse me. I will do only one house next to the road here. No coal mine in a 10 radius. So we could put another coal mine pretty far away. Excuse me. Well, we could have a coal mine near the coal plant. Let's go ahead and just do... I'm just going to do one shrimp. Oh, wait. We have another coal mine right there. I did not see that because that was a little oblivious. Uh, here we go. Shanty towns. Yes. That's the nice way of saying shanty town. If, you, uh, if you've been using your word enhancers. Now we're getting so... I just want to build so many of these things, but I find that the resource flow is not high enough. I wonder if you could... I think I'm playing the game on medium right now, I want to say, and I do believe that there's another difficulty. I will probably go and check that out at the end just to see if you can up the resource management because I would like to see what you could do if you just upped the ratios, made the game easier for yourself to play, and made it easier to just produce more impressive-looking cities because I think that would be cool or just lead to different results. Um, like I said, I think it's already in there. I just I don't know because I did kind of want to go in with more of a... Uh, an open mind, shall we say. I think... Noom. So that's just making the coal. That's not actually burning the coal. Uh, what does this do? Can you have these right next to each other? Yeah, so I could just put a bunch of coal plants right next to one another. Okay, so it is SimCity. We just put all of the... <laughs> we just put all of the coal plants right next to each other. And that's the... W and that's exactly the way it's been... Good. All right, now we're producing power. Time for that water. Ah, hydration. 
build the city council. Now we can build the city. More policies to shape the society we want. Let's go ahead and back into our edicts. So, I mean, serfs sounds awfully, like, medieval. Better quality food. I'm wondering if we're going to get things that are more advanced. Firewood heating reduction. Yeah, like, this seems like an early society. An early society of smooth brains. Okay. Um, city council. Yes, this Parthenon will do. Not really the Parthenon. What is the Parthenon? Parthenon doesn't have that top. It's more like the Capitol building. Neighborhood council. Repair shop, hardware shop, city council. Uh, I don't think anything really needs the city council by it, so you're probably just better building this off in isolation. But nonetheless, I will put it there to try to bring up these places. There we go. Okay, so now we've got... Ah, there are three phases. I'm seeing a regression. <laughs> Child labor. Anarchist. Cult of Bacchus. <laughs> uh, Bacchus is the god of wine, oh, if you didn't know. Day. He's Another like a celebration. A He's like, D is, isn't it Dionysius? Is the other name for Bacchus? I can't remember which one is the Roman and which one is the Greek. Free schools. Okay, this is getting quite awesome. I would really like to just turn on all of these policies and see what happens. That would be neat. KXZ, hey, thank you very much for the 11 months, my friend. Very good to see you. Very good to see you. Hmm. Okay, so we have edicts. I don't really think it, it looks like too much advances, but it's also kind of a rise of civilization, which is cool. Build a high school. I think this one's pretty much just straightforward. And I think I'm just going to go totally off on my own. Uh... Does it cover a larger area? Sort of. Let's see if people change the way that they're living. Hmm, wait a minute. I didn't read any of that. Ready to build a high school. Make it center of your downtown house. It's going to appear. Remember the population. I wonder if it needs to be adjacent to a road. Hang on a second. Now I'm getting a little OCD about that. There we go. Nope, it doesn't. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah, Dionysius is, like, you know he's going to party when he comes. <laughs> uh, I, I think I kind of just want to, where are we at now? We've been streaming for almost two hours, so at this point I think I just kind of want to get off the beaten path. I, I can tell that I'm not really going to get an entirely full city. Like, I've seen some crazy stuff done in this game where people have these huge blocks that look Romanesque and beautiful. You could also play the game like this, which would be very jarring. Can you slightly tilt? I don't know if I have the camera. Do I have the controls here? I honestly didn't pay enough attention there. I think that there is a button that can. It's not the. It's not the hold down mouse button, but I can't play like that. Whatever it is, um, I just kind of look out, appreciate things, and see if I can go off a little bit on my own for a second because I like playing like this. But also, too, self-managed bookstore, bookshop. I wonder if you could just proceed through the entire game if I just went boop. I still have it right there. I thought that I thought that would be much more dangerous. But what if I just decide, yeah, something that didn't come up belongs here. I'll do a repair shop, sure. Ooh, that was a good repair shop location. Put another one there. Heavy coal plant unlocked. Ah, I bet you that when they made the game, they didn't have those tutorials first. Because usually, if you're making a game, you don't make the tutorial first. This is sensible. Wait a second, what does this do? Yeah, if you wanted to play it just totally exploratory, I suppose you could as well. Zero or less pollution. Oh, no, you just need no pollution nearby. Good fruits are produced. So let's see, does this produce more food? But it also requires skilled labor. Because, as you know, it takes great finesse to remove the apple from the tree. One or more farm raids, so this needs a farm... Oh. Wait a moment, my friends. I am going ahead of the tutorial right now. But, if I do that... Can I just produce it? This is now an interesting thing. Because off here, I've just created all of these farms because I've been procrastinating. But it's interesting to me, and I just want to point out that this does kind of do what I said before. 
If I want an orchard, now I need a farmhouse, but the farmhouse isn't something that can stand on its own, so what you need is to do the farm, and then that gets you the farmhouse, and then after you have the... This is not very annoying. You get the farm... You, you get what I'm trying to say here? You get the farmhouse, and then you build the orchard, but then can you get rid of the farm? Like, if I were to just go donk... That can happen. All right, I've been a little inceptioned now. And I'm assuming, although I don't know how much further I will take this, but also, too, I'm assuming that we may not be limited to these puny village houses for so much longer that we may be able to upgrade to multifamily housing or something like that. Maybe even get rid of all of the roads and replace them with butter. I mean, subways. Um, but, yeah. Oh, ah, dang it. Nope, I, I do, I stand corrected. But I don't know, maybe there still is something in the game like that. It's just kind of a, an interesting idea to me that you would start paving over stuff. But, um... I mean, yeah, replacing the roads with butter would probably make the cars go faster, to be fair. Hmm. What is next? Okay, um, well, let's explore a little more. Let's stay out here floating in space. Just... Goods factory, that's... <laughs> what are you looking for at the store? Goods. Mm, paved area. We well, don't have one of those? A little bit, I I like how this game has so much stuff though, and you can't just build it anywhere. There's a lot of games where you could just build anything anywhere, and it would still kind of advance you. It's, it's sort of like it necessarily has to be an organized city in order for it to work. Uh, church chapel, we would need more stuff. Yeah, I could just keep going through these. I do kind of like it holding my hand here. Let's build a fish market because we just don't have one. And we could also destroy this man's house. And every city building game has that. Eight or more fishermen house in a five radius. Oh, we needed that man. So sorry. Um, please forgive me. There we go. Actually, it is becoming a little bit more difficult then to build that than I thought. Uh, you'd probably need a smooth coastline then to get that thing to do what it will do. All right, very nice, very nice. But yeah, a lot of this... I wanted to go way further because we had religious houses, health clinic, two-story downtown house. It seems that you're getting the, everything more and more dense as you go through the game. It, although it would take me hours to get to some of this stuff, I just kind of wanted to show that while we were here.